Hey everyone. Uh, or Miss Jane. <laughs> uh, this yoga for survivors class is has been a tough sell. I'm trying to sell, but um, I'm tough getting folks here. So I'm gonna do a little video for you here right now, and then I'm going to bounce, and I'll try to do another one for you when I get back to my house. Um, I'm excited to see you in a couple weeks. Um, I'm excited to be in Seattle with you. And yeah, I'm excited to give you all the updates. So um, feeling good in myself and in my life right now. Um, but that being said, um, I hope that uh, Europe was wonderful and um, I can't wait to hear all about it. All right, let's get into it. So bending down through your seat, lift the crown of the head, lift high to the sky, roll your shoulder blades down your back, nice deep inhale through the nose. And then big exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Always starting up our practices from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe or the creator. You can call it by whatever name that you like. But just recognizing an energy that's bigger than us that we're still collectively a part of. We give gratitude to the earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity that we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. We give gratitude to the indigenous people of these lands, the Andillans, the Northern Cheyenne, the Crow, the Salish, the Blackfoot, Lakota, and the Sioux, and reminding ourselves that the land acknowledgement and gratitude for the people is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. It goes outward and indeed. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga because it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good. We're kind and honest, generous and just. And we give gratitude to black and brown people with an emphasis on black and brown women as the original creators and sustainers of this practice in the space of ahimsa, also known as loving action. We give gratitude to our bodies, to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage recognizing our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions, and holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful, loving, and liberated world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to this afternoon or morning or evening or whenever you're tuning in, Ahead and draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale and breathe them all the way into your heart center. And then on your exhale, send them love. Go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes. Kind of glance around the room in the space, maybe noticing any detailing that you didn't notice prior to coming in. And then slowly bring your head back to your center line. Draw small circles with your face in one direction, like you're kind of painting like the wall in front of you with your nose for four, three, two, and one. And then take it back the opposite way for four, three, two, and one. And then drop your head low, chin towards the chest. Slowly let your head rock to center line, same thing. Do two more rounds of this slow movement with the head and the neck. Try not to yank way back through your skull. And then bring yourself back to your midline. And the same thing on the opposite side. Slowly chin moves in towards the chest. Roll your ear towards your shoulder. Chin towards the chest. Ear rolls to your shoulder. Two more. Squeeze and lift. 
squeeze and lift. Bring your head back to your center line. Hold on to your knees. Exhale. Round into yourself. Pull your low belly up and in. And then inhale. Heart and chest pulling you forward. Exhale. Squeeze. Inhale. Up and in. Exhale. Squeeze. Inhale. Up and in. And then one more time. Exhale. Squeeze. Inhale. Up. Small circles here. Heart and chest move you forward. Low belly moves you back for four, for three, for two, and one. And then take it back the opposite way for four, for three, for two, and for one. And then bring yourself back to your center line. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, touch your arms and then turn your heart and chest towards the right. And then slowly turn your heart and chest towards the left. Turn yourself back to your center and then take your left hand to your right knee, right hand comes back behind your turn and roll back and down through your shoulder. And then slowly move yourself to your center. Same thing on that opposite side, hand to knee, turn and look out past your shoulder. Bring yourself back to your center line. Small circles here. Actually, release your feet and bring your feet into a butterfly pose. Sit up nice and tall. Small circles, heart and chest pulling you forward, low belly pulling you back, rolling over the front and the back side of your sit bones, trying to keep your sit bones connected to the earth the whole time now for four, for three, for two, and for one, and then slowly take yourself back the opposite way for four, for three, for two, and for one. Sit up nice and tall, drop your heart and chest down to the inside of your feet. Hold here. Breathe deep into the base of the belly, exhale. One more time, big inhale. Slowly pull yourself all the way back up. Take your hands to the outside of the knees and pull the knees up to your center line. And then from here, if you can, you're gonna let your knees split and rock yourself forward. And then just slowly shift back and forth, side to side. Opening up through your calves, the backside of your Achilles, moving in one direction. And then in the opposite direction, pressing down through your palms and then slowly rest down to your palms and lift your hips and bring yourself into a standing forward fold. If you're at the midline or the back of your mat, hold in here. You can swish and sway back and forth side to side a little bit. Maybe you shake your head yes, maybe you shake your head no. And then on your next inhale, hands are gonna move up the front part of your feet and chins flat back, hold here. Exhale, let yourself come down and over the tops of the thighs. Breathe heavy as you keep lifting through your hips. And then inhale again, hands move up the front part of the feet and shins, flat back. Exhale, bring yourself down and over the tops of the thighs. And then on your next inhale, sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Arms come high to the sky. Exhale, send the arms open up through the heart and chest and inhale, arms high again. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Take the hands down, shimmy through your legs and move out through your hips. So you're releasing any tension that you're holding in your hips. You can always take your hands to your shins or to the tops of your thighs, but shaking out anything that you're holding in your pelvis. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, down and over, and then take your hands and walk yourself out and into a plank pose. Big inhale, press back through your heels, shift it forward, drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, lower all the way down to your chest and belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, wave it out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Take your hands off side of the mat. Stack your elbows over your wrist. Tent your fingertips and then inhale. 
Coming into your hood of cobra, exhale, drop your right shoulder down and turn and look up past your left, and then inhale, lift. Drop your left shoulder down and turn and look up past your left. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Release the feet, release the hands. Big inhale. Swim it out. Pull it back to your center line for eight, seven, six. Squeeze five for four, three, two, and one. Squeeze, hands next to your bust line, press to the knees. Send yourself right back into a child's pose. Breathe into your low belly, crawl your fingertips out a little bit further. Again, nice deep inhale. Exhale slowly, sink your heart and chest forward as your hips stack over your knees, coming into your puppy pose. Shoulder blades come together to touch, press down through your third eye. Breathe deep into your belly. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, bring your big toes together to touch and then send your sit bones all the way back down towards your heels. Walk your hands towards your knees. Pull your knees together to touch. And then inhale, arms high. Exhale, little baby back bend. And then take your hands back behind you. Interlock your fingers, pull up through your heart and chest. Big inhale here. And then heart and chest move down and over the top of the thigh. Forehead comes down to the earth. Fists lift away from the low back. Try to keep the hands together to touch and the arms straight. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly use the strength of the fist to pull yourself all the way back up. Release the hands. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, extend. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, sweep the hands back behind you again. Interlock your fingers the opposite way. Pull down through your fist. Big inhale here. And then on your exhale, work your heart and chest. Sweep down and over the tops of the thighs. Your forehead comes down to the earth. Fist moves away from your low back again. Breathe deep and heavy. Two more, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale slowly, pull up through your fist. Release the hands, shake it out. And then go ahead and slowly shift yourself forward, tuck your toes, and then send your hips back and into your down dog, big inhale. Forehead hangs in between your biceps. Keep pulling the hips high. You can keep a little bend in the knees. Take your feet hip width distance apart and pedal out through your heels. Push and sway your hips back and forth side to side. And then slowly tiptoe your feet up to meet your hands top of the mat. Inhale, hands to your shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Exhale, tent. Close it up. Hands move down to your sides. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, bend down and over the tops of the thighs. Engage your low belly, pull it up and then inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, palms plant, step your feet back into your plank pose. Big inhale, press back through the heels, shift forward and drop down to your right knee. Kickstand your right foot off side of the mat. Come into your modified side plank. If you want to float this leg, you have that option. Flex through the foot and then put a bend in the knee and reach back and around to grab onto the outside of the foot. Kick into the hand, open up through your heart and chest. Be mindful of your shoulder, big inhale. Exhale, release. Pivot on that knee again and swing your left foot offside on the mat. Drop down through that foot, tuck your back right toes and send your hips back into a one-legged child's pose. Draw your fingertips out in front of you. Exhale, hold. One more big breath, big inhale. And then exhale, take your right hand to your right knee. Shift yourself up and then drop your left knee. Underneath your right, kickstand, left foot out. Right foot comes flat. Left knee is underneath your hip. Wrist is underneath your shoulder. Lift the right fingertips high to the sky. Big inhale here. If you want to, you float that foot and flex. 
And then you put a bend in the knee as you reach around, grab onto the outside of the foot and kick into the hand as you open up through your heart and chest. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Palm plants again. Kickstand that foot way out, tuck the toes, and send your hips back and into your one-legged child. Curl your fingertips out in front of you. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Be mindful of the inside of your right knee. One more time, big inhale. And then take your left hand to the outside of your left knee. Press yourself up. Release. Knees underneath your hips. Palms are nice and wide. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, bring yourself back into a neutral spine. Go ahead and slowly release. Come down and onto your seat. Feet come out in front of you. Pop up through your heart and chest. Windshield wiper your knees back and forth side to side. And then slowly let your knees drop over to the right as you heel toe your right foot out from underneath your left. Drape your right foot to the outside of your left knee as you turn and pop up through your heart and chest and release through the outside of your left hip. And then slowly bring that left foot or right foot down and you're gonna face the front of your mat as you pull your left knee in. I'm not marrying you guys. Left knee in or right knee in to your left elbow. And then you're gonna turn and look out past your right shoulder. Big inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna release. Take both hands to the inside of your right foot, or your, yeah, your right foot. Both hands to inside of right foot. You're gonna press up and pivot and bring yourself down. Landing, so sole of the left foot is planted. You're gonna hug the left knee into the chest with the right elbow and turn with that past your left shoulder. Big inhale here. And slowly, you're gonna release and pull your legs back through your center line. And then you're gonna drop them over to the left-hand side as you pop up through your heart and chest. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your knees back to your center, release, press up through the heart and chest if you wanna come into a reverse tabletop. Kick your hips up, let your head rock back, hold here for four, three, two and one slowly release bring yourself all the way down and onto your forearms take the legs high little pulses up and down here lifting through your heart and chest for eight seven six five pull down through the low belly for four for three for two and one, then the low back or your upper back all the way down. Take the legs high to the sky, big inhale. Let the legs be out to the side. Hands can rest on your belly. You can massage out through your low belly. And then slowly bring the soles of the feet together to touch. Come into a recline butterfly, lay here. And then slowly release. Press the feet down to the end of your mats, come into your Shavasana, one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Let yourself just be here, grab some cards, allow yourself to be in your breath. Nice deep in down through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, big and healthy the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more time, nice deep in down. And exhale. One more big breath. And exhale. So many realizations in these past couple of weeks, y'all. Spaces of boundaries, spaces of no time for tolerance. <laughs> like, 
I'm like, I'm done with the space of tolerance in terms of like what I'm willing to tolerate. I'm not willing to tolerate much at this point in time um, when it comes to like bad behavior. So, but what I am welcoming into life is creating space for good things. Hence this car. Create space. In the next couple weeks, make room for your dreams. Create a space for new desires by learning how to be happy right now. We all want certain things in our life to change and it's up to each of us to do something about it. If you apply action from a position of truly wanting change, you'll create evidence of that desire as manifestations of change. Once you notice something that you would like to change, take a breath and say thank you. Recognizing what you want to change brings more clarity on what you'd like to change it to. Your job is to create the space for your dreams and desires to fill. Do this and you'll begin to receive direction and wisdom. Create this space by coming into balance, meditating, focusing on the moment, or thinking of a person, an animal, a place, or a situation that makes you smile. And allow yourself to feel the smile stretch through your body and relax knowing that all your desire is on its way. You have empowered your whole being because you don't need conditions to change to feel joyous in the present. You're bathing in unconditional love, so breathe it in and allow yourself to enjoy how good it feels. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in each of you, the collectively in all of us. Thank y'all for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, minds, spirits, and souls. And when you do leave the space, be sure to go in peace. And remember to serve love always, because love is our only pathway of liberation. Thanks so much, everyone. Hope everyone has a wonderful week. Um, more videos, obviously, to come. Peace and love, y'all. Yeah.